Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Deloitte Let's Talk. This evening, we shall be talking through the measures announced by the government of Malta in its economic regeneration plan. The value of the plan is a staggering 6.8% of GDP and will be rolled out through a combination of tax cuts and spending boosts. The first set of measures relate to property. In order to support the real estate market, stamp duty rates on acquisitions of real estate will be levied at the reduced rate of 1.5% on the first €400,000. This will apply for all purchases that are currently covered by a promise of sale agreement and will be retained until March 2021. Property transfer taxes levied on the seller are to be reduced from 8% to 5% and in addition, adjustments to the first-time buyer scheme are also expected. Another measure applicable to the real estate industry is a 4 million euro fund that has been allocated to the construction industry with the aim of modernizing equipment. The assistance will be capped at 200,000 euro per application. Moving on from the real estate sector, the COVID wage supplement shall continue to be paid through to the end of September. The supplement shall remain at 800 euro with respect to those sectors that were most adversely hit by the pandemic. Employees in other sectors shall see the subsidy dropping to 600 euro starting July. Businesses listed in Annexes A and B of the COVID wage supplement scheme shall also be eligible for rental subsidies, and these shall be capped at a maximum of €2,500 for July, August and September. Next, we'll tackle measures that seek to ease the burden of costs. Petrol and diesel prices shall drop by 7 cents starting Monday 15 June, and electricity tariffs for businesses affected by the impact of COVID-19 will be cut by 50% from July up until September. Couples forced to postpone their wedding plans shall benefit from up to €2,000 compensation for expenses incurred. Finally, some targeted measures to support local businesses include a conversion of tax credits that will see many local businesses benefiting from a cash refund of tax credits that are unlikely to be claimed in the current year. In order to assist in the re-engineering of business models, €2.5 million Euro shall be granted to businesses to help adapt their business models. Moreover, a 5 million euro budget is being afforded to those businesses that want to advertise Maltese products both locally and abroad, and a 10 million euro grant on exports shall be given to companies at risk for not being paid for goods which they exported. We thank you for tuning in to another episode of Deloitte Let's Talk. Until next time.